So frameless CMS is mighty powerful, but one of the things it still cannot do yet is filtering between different blogs or articles on your website. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you the secret to actually building a filtering effect just like this one inside of Framer. And it's really easy to set up. Let's go. Okay, so inside of Framer here, I have a blog section set up on my website. I've got my blog listings and I've got a search bar. And then up the top here, I've actually got some filtering options. But right now, these do not work, but we'll fix that in a minute. Now, one of the things you'll notice here, if I go to my layers tab, is that the actual CMS collections are set up as components. And there's one for none design, development, and news. Now, if I go to my assets, you can see I've already pre-built my collections as components. Now, the reason I'm doing this is essentially we're trying to create a filtering solution for our blog. So we can choose a default way to filter our blog, but we can't actually switch between. And that's where we actually want to add this uh, filter state at the top here so we can actually trigger uh, different listings or different articles to show depending on what's selected. So what I've essentially gone through and done is created four different components where I've duplicated uh, my blog collection here, but I've actually set a new filter for each dependent on each category or each sort of filter that I want to apply. So for example, inside this uh, filter of design, you'll notice I have the same collection here but under the actual blog itself, I've actually set a filter, which is a category that equals design. And I've done the same with development and news as well. So if I go back to my blog here, and what we're actually gonna do is select my entire section here, and we're gonna right click, and we're gonna create this as a component, and we'll call this blog filtering. Now within this, we're actually gonna create multiple variants. So we're gonna have a state for no filter, we're gonna have one for design, one for development and one for news. And we'll go through and we'll label these as so. So we'll call this no filter, we'll call this design, we'll call this development, and we'll call this news. And now all we have to do is go through and change the states as if each were selected. So inside here, I'm actually just gonna go through and I'm going to make sure that this is set to invisible and this one set to visible because it's the design category. Same with development here. We're gonna make it that this is visible, but the filtering is not. And same with this one here. So now, for each sort of variance here, we have the right collections showing. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually switch the active state at the top here for my navigation. So I've already set this up as a component. So within here, you can see I've got a not selected state and a selected state. So I wanna make it so when someone clicks on say design, it would uh, not only show these articles here, which are just design specific, but also show the selected state so you know what state you are on. So we'll go through and we'll do the same for all of this. So we'll make sure that's on development and we'll make sure this is on news. And now this is looking pretty good, but if we actually preview this, you notice that still nothing will work. I can click development news, whatever, like nothing, nothing is hooked up. So let's go back into this blog filtering component and let's start with design. And what I'm gonna do is select this and we're going to add a new interaction and we're gonna set a new transition and we're gonna make it so on tap. So when someone clicks on this, it's going to go to the variant design. And we're gonna repeat this for all of these steps. So we're gonna click on development. I'm gonna add a new interaction, which is going to go to development. And you guessed it, news is going to go to, well, news. So now with the magic of component logic, we can click on design, development, news, and everything will trigger like so. But you'll notice that if I try to cancel this, I really can't. And that's because we haven't connected the active states to actually cancel yet. So it's pretty close and all we really need to do is go to that state. So for example, if the active state is design, we're just gonna click on this component and we're gonna change the interaction to go from variant back to no filter. So we're essentially going the other way. So if I click on development and change this to no filter and go to news and change this to no filter, 
And now if we preview our site, you'll notice when I click on a filter, it will filter to that component. And essentially all it's doing is transitioning to a new component with the uh, variant that we set up. And if I click off of this, it'll go back to the initial variant too. Now we can add search and that'll just work like so. But this is really, really powerful for us to actually create a really clean filtering effect with, to be honest, not that much effort. It can seem a little bit technical at first when we talk about having interactions or all these different sort of like filters. Uh, but if you want to download this remix link so you can use this as a template or follow along, you can grab the link down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel and also check out the Framer Career Accelerator, which is our A to Z course on building a career and making money with Framer. We cover everything from selling $10,000 client sites to building templates or products for Framer. So if you're starting to master Framer and you want to take it to the next level, this really is a masterclass on becoming a more valuable designer. Until next time, I'll catch you later.